she's back. <laughs> This is how I came up with this. Oh, yes! Where is the Dior? Where is the Vinci? Focus. Every time I move, it want to defocus. Fully alive! Baby, I feel fully alive. Now that my hair is refreshed. You like my voice? Push that shit out. Huh? Push that shit out. Come on. <clears throat> fully alive, am I? <laughs> Ready to smile. Angels like fully alive. No, she knows how to believe. Like that? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, that's not your natural voice. What's my natural voice? Tonight, it's Taco Tuesday, so tonight we're having nachos. I wanna look up a recipe for nachos. Like, something cool and funky. Y'all, I'm on my Canon G7X Mark III right now because something happened to my Sony. I don't know what happened. I'm a little sad right now. I'm trying to hide it because there's not much I can do at this very moment, but I'm really sad. But I'm also very grateful to have my Canon G7X Mark III because Brandon fixed it for me. Well, I'm back. I just haven't been recording on it because I've been so stuck on my Sony. And also, Canon autofocus is a little ass. But I'm looking at the screen right now and it's very clear at this very moment until I move. But <sighs> yeah, it's I'm about to carry up. did stuffed peppers before and somebody was like on the internet they were like oh you should have added rice damn we should have rice we ain't got no mexican rice i chose it is i got a beautiful red and orange pepper basically all i did was coat it with a little bit of olive oil and i seasoned it season of your choice i like lemon pepper so i use a little bit of lemon pepper and then i'm going to put it in the oven and let it do its thing while the ground turkey is cooking. So I have the ground turkey in there with onions and I'm gonna go ahead and season it. And then, you know, we're gonna add some jerk and some taco sauce to seasoning. And yeah, we're just gonna chef it up in the kitchen real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make do with it too, baby. You fix the camera. The tech wizard? How do you do that? I just had to clean the terminal, push them around a little bit. Really? Yeah. It's working? When it fails, you get a connection issue. Huh? When it fails, you got a connection issue. Really? Let me think. It's great still, bro. Thank you, baby. She's good, too. Thank you. Oh, You're awesome. 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 You're awesome.
why it's extremely important to get your ass up in the morning because it's now noon and my morning is 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 like <laughs> no nah, i'm kidding but seriously like if i would have gotten up on time this morning i would have gotten so much more work done like i had planned on going to the gym this morning i planned on finishing some projects for you guys I'm working on some projects for y'all <laughs> but I've been I plan on finishing that because that's like almost done and then I knew I had to go to a shoot today to do Elise hair so the shoot is at 2 we're gonna meet up at 1 you know it's 11 so I'm like okay I'm just gonna go do some cardio real quick come back upstairs shower you know what I'm saying eat something light get ready go to the shoot come back and then get to work 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 right no, I can't do that. Mind you, I'm not really complaining because I'm so gracious, obviously. But someone had just scheduled an appointment today at 3. I'm like, ooh, that's a little close in time. So I called her and I was like, can you come at 5.30 if that's okay? And she was like, yeah, that works. So, cool. So now I got a client at 5.30. So, I'm already dressed for the gym, right? But I realized that I ain't got time. So, I ain't got time because I ain't going to be able to really eat nothing when I get back because I'm going to get back straight to work, like, like really get straight to work. So, I am going to make me something to eat real quick. I got these bags underneath my eyes. My eyes are so poofy today. Do y'all be putting this on right? Sometimes I feel like I be putting it too close to my eye. It be making my eyeball look like it's smooshed. Is that right? Is that about right? You remember I told you in my last vlog that I wish I would've took my magic lines after my workout, but since I'm not working out this morning, I'm gonna take my magic lines now to keep me focused and in check. Oh, like I said, I do have my leftover pepper and ground turkey from last night. It's only a half a piece, but I think if I scramble some eggs and eat that, I'll be good. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Actually, I forgot to put a little bit of cheese in there. I said a little bit, but that looks like a lot of it. Okay, cheese 
changing plans. I put on some clothes because I want to do like a lifestyle reels. Um, this is my outfit for the day. I'm waiting for my car right now. I'm wearing these jeans from Fashion Nova. These uh, gold sandal heels from Simi. I love wearing kitten heels because they're so comfortable. So I can still be like cute, girly, and comfy at the same time. And then my coach bag, this white um, crop top from Zara. And yeah, that's it. Maybe I should put a little bit of makeup on my forehead. <laughs> yes. Today I'm just like trying to finish up the little things that I can do to pull this place together. As you guys may or may not know, I used to play the piano slash keyboard. I want to get back into music. So I have my keyboard and I bought some things to kind of help me get back into the groove, relearn how to read notes and make songs and write my music. Cause I can make, I can do it by ear, but I don't know how to like, write notes or like write my songs out so I can remember them. A lot of times, I, I mean, I just be remembering it by memory, but I be having so much going on in my head that I be forgetting like the song that I made for my grandma and that I taught her, I forgot it already. Like I, and I'm so sad about that. Maybe it'll come back to me, you know, once I get into the groove and, you know, start remembering notes and stuff like that. And once I do, or if I do remember, I'm gonna make sure I write it down. But yeah, I bought some things for my music area that i'm really excited to unbox i ordered this stuff off of amazon i'll have it linked in my amazon storefront if you guys are interested okay so i got this desktop stand series this is where i'm going to have like my tablet propped up so that way i can um have my music sheets and stuff like that and then i also ordered a new um pedal because my pedal wasn't working so i ordered a new pedal to plug up to my keyboard and then i also ordered this is so cool it's piano note strips that you can put on the keys um and it has like the actual notes and the letters on there so this is going to definitely help me with remembering and um, learning how to read so i'm really excited about this So this is my bench. Um, I got a real bench before I had like, anyways, but I have like a real bench now and I have some storage underneath there, which is like super exciting. Y'all, I'm like so excited. I'm like low-key emotional. I'm like low-key emotional because this is like long overdue. This is the POV. Matter of fact, this might be my caption. POV, you're finally stepping out of depression and all of that stuff because I'm like tapping back into doing things that I like truly love, which is very heartwarming. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm figuring it out.
we have our bench we have our new foot pedal and then we have our um, key note finders on the keys and then we have our little stand yay now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to like the wall I don't know to bring this little area in cuz yeah that's my little sanctuary so far I'm like super excited to get back into music I need to perfect this craft of mine okay I'm gonna dedicate one hour out of my day every day and playing this keyboard okay and i say an hour because at first i was like oh 30 minutes 30 minutes not enough so realistically i'm going to give myself an hour each day to play the um keyboard so yeah like i was saying i was trying to play so this is me honestly this is me playing for at least without reading the notes right, right. I know those notes. I know those notes, right? But when I'm reading it, I'm like, ah, so stressful. Okay. Super hard. But yeah, I'm about to see what time Brandon gets off of work because I need to, I know I need to start making dinner before he gets here. But sometimes he be having like super late nights. Um, so I'm gonna call him, see what time he gets off of work, and then in the meantime, we're gonna do some unboxing, PR unboxing. Woo woo, super excited. All right, but so now we're about to do some unboxing, some PR unboxing before we go into the beauty room. I want to give you guys an update of what it's looking like. It's coming out so cute. Um, I should have inventory by Monday, so I'm excited about that. And then she's almost, the room is almost done. I just have like a few DIY projects that I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna try to finish them tonight. Cause I have a client tomorrow and I want everything to be kind of like in order for her cause I haven't seen her in like a couple months. So it's gonna be super exciting to get her like reaction when she comes in and see the new hair studio cause it's like the bomb.com y'all. It's so cute. But yeah, let's do some unboxing. First box. I don't know what this is, but let me get my handy dandy box cutter. You can find it in the Amazon storefront, by the way. Hopefully it's some makeup, because I'm trying to get on the makeup PR. Well, I do, I, I am on some people's makeup PR, but <laughs> this is definitely not makeup this is from a brand called montrax and this is a back massager with remote control so this is gonna be pretty cool to test out a little later i really just want to i want to get rid of all these boxes i've had these boxes since um we moved here like i transitioned some of these boxes from the old apartment to here so I haven't really had time to sit down and just open up everything. But yeah, the first box was a back massager, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I know Brandon could definitely use that. They should have sent me a foot massager because the girl be on her feet all damn day. Ooh, yes, Clinique. We love that. Sir Moisture Lip. Good, because my lips be dry, as y'all already know, and this is from the last vlog, my lips be dry. I'm assuming this is a facial moisturizer. So that's pretty cool, I'm excited to try that. I'm actually gonna try it tonight. I love trying new skincare products. Cause the skin be looking good. But then I think the skin be looking good cause I be getting all of these goodies and then real that I get to try and they pop like they really do be helping. You, bounce curl. I need a new brush too. This would have worked perfectly for when I was blow drying Aaliyah's hair. Cause this is like a dimming brush mixed with a bristle brush. Turmeric purifying hair and scalp mask. 
Yeah, I can't wait to wash my hair. That's, that's cool. This is from TLB, the lip bar. Ooh, I love this. I'm, I'm gonna need some makeup. So I got a blur fine primer, a setting spray, a blush, um, a face tint, um, and then a brightening concealer, a um, brow pencil, a red lip stick, and a lip gloss. Hey, thank you, shout out to the lip bar for being the bomb.com. I was like, what did I open this? I had ordered a sample cup. So I'm not gonna use this. I figured out a different solution that I'll show y'all later. But I was trying to order a sample cup to see if I should put my logo on here and just have these for my clients for like iced coffee and stuff. But I don't think, I don't know. I'm still contemplating because the ones that I have are reusable. The ones that I bought, I think they're super cute, and re but they're reusable. With these, at least they can take this with them and it's like cute for branding when they get in their car and show that they got their hair done. They could be like, I don't know, actually I might, let me keep this. I might circle back on this to see if there's something that I really wanna do. I just didn't like how cheap it looked. So I don't know. Beauty stat, we got another PR box. I'm trying to get on YSL PR. I'm trying to get that. Where the Fenty in the YSL? Where that thing? How they do that? I'm gonna have to ask my friends if they could send me um the emails. Can y'all send me the damn email so I can get on the PR list too? Sheesh. They sent us a moisturizing cream, a vitamin C, eye serum. They also sent a uh, cleanser. Oh, I love trying new cleansers. And then a vitamin C skin serum. We got a few more things. Oh. We got a few more things to check out. Om sleep, om sleep. I like the packaging. Very sleek. I don't want to do this for my wigs and my bundles. The only thing about shipping out boxes, like actual boxes, is they're more expensive. But I do like the way this look to have like a wig and then bundles in there, shipping them off. Oh, this is the eye massager thing. Does it have, is it already charged? So I guess you just put it on your face. And it's supposed to massage your eyes, I think. I'm excited to try that because your Kendra be needing to get some sleep. I be up all hours of the night, then going to bed at five o'clock in the morning to get back up at 10. 10 is too late to be getting up, okay? 10 is definitely too late to get up when you know you got stuff to do. Ooh, yes. Hand cream, because I'm always like washing my hands. Shower oil. I gotta look into this. I've actually never heard of this brand. L'Occitane, L'Occitane in Provence. Have I heard of this brand? Have I seen it? I feel like I've seen it, but I've never tried it. So that's cool to try. We have a Music capsule speak. Oh, yeah, this is a karaoke speaker. So, I'm not gonna open this right now, but um, <laughs> that's so funny because I just did karaoke like my mini, my own little mini karaoke earlier in the vlog. Um, but yeah, this would definitely be fun when I host my first um, like gathering for friends to come over and stuff. So, great. Stay tuned for karaoke night. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we got some more rides. Y'all know I love my rides coffee. So we got a whole box of rides. I'm pretty sure it's just the mushroom coffee and the overnight oats in here. And yeah, that was everything thus far. I know we have some more stuff coming in next week. But like I said, I'm really trying to get on the like, bigger brands PR. <laughs> like, where is the YSL? Where is the Dior? Where is the Fenty? I'm gonna be on that PR. But it's okay. In due time. In due time, you just gotta keep on pushing and be consistent, okay? Cool baby. So yeah, let's clean this up and then let's go in the beauty room and activate our artistic side. Artistic. Artistic, A-R-T. Okay, so this is my shelving unit that I just got from Amazon, um, I'm gonna do a quick DIY. Um, basically, 
this little stand that I got from CB2. Originally was marble top. Well, hold on, let me show you guys the one in the living room. See, see how this is marble top, but the one in the hair studio, it was cracked. So before I had, you know, these books on top of it, but then I thought I might as well do a DIY project and cover the crack. And this is how I came up with this, which I think is super cute. And it just kind of goes with the theme because I have this picture up here that's like similar and then the statue, you know, it's just giving. The same thing that I did here, I am going to do it to the shelves. I'm also going to be creating a reels, so I probably won't be talking a lot because I'm trying to multitask with creating a reels as well, but yeah. We got Mrs. Beethoven in the building and Mrs. Picasso in the building. But first, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm using. So I'm using this Drydex. I mixed it with water, a little bit of water to stretch it out. And I don't know if I like that texture. So I'm going to add more dry decks because the first time when I did when I did this stand, I didn't use any water. I just used the dry decks. And I think I probably could use the mix on top of the dry dry decks to get more texture. I don't know. I low key want to wipe this off because I'm like, is this even going to dry? Hey Siri, so I mean, it's gonna dry, but I don't know if I like that texture, so I'm actually gonna thug it out. <laughs> eee, I'm actually gonna thug it out, y'all. I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe I should, this is definitely not a good idea. Y'all, the hell. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. I think I should wipe it off then go in. Oh, Jesus Christ, why didn't I just do it the way that I did? Or maybe it was just too liquidy. Cause it's, oh, okay. I think it was just too liquidy. I think it just needed more dry decks. Because look, it's thickened up. Yeah, so make sure your, your um, concoction isn't like as liquidy as mine and make it a little thicker, so. Let me get back into my little zone. I'm actually about to play. Cash Dog came out with a song. It's called Cash Commandments. Y'all, I was like, when I heard that first, when I heard that song for the first time yesterday, I was like, well, for the full song for the first time yesterday, I was like, I know that's the F word. I felt like she was talking to my younger self. Shoot, I felt like she was talking to me a couple months ago. But I'm about to jam out to that. She might be on repeat while I do this. As women, these rules we need to stand by. Stand for something for Love one. Never let a nigga fuck you over more than once. Remember, you can never tell these bitches everything. The day she call you sister, tomorrow she in the beat. Any points to be made, don't be scared to prove it. And you better look fucking good when you do it. No, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes, clap for the heavyweight champ. Me, but I couldn't do it all alone. We got that I can have this moment to last. Stop and put some gloves on because this is ridiculous. This is fun.
So I've been using the wrong key this entire time. Now I have to practice using the right key. Here we go. Y'all, I have not picked up a pair of clippers since 2015. 
So basically, I had volunteered to go on deployment back in 2015. And I asked my chief halfway through deployment, I was like, they need help in the barbershop. Can I volunteer and go in the barbershop? And he was like, oh, yeah, because we're all supplied. Like, I was in supply. So, and he was like, yeah. And so the guys in the barbershop taught me how to cut hair. And yeah, but I haven't cut hair since then. So, y'all, that was over 10 years ago, which I cannot believe that 2015 was over 10 years ago. It feels like it was like yesterday, which is so crazy. But yeah, so I was like, you know what? I always, I enjoy it. And that was another reason why I was like, that that was another reason why I was like, I actually want to like do hair full time. Like, I don't want to do this no more. I want to be in the military. I want to go out and do my own thing um, because I really enjoyed it. So um, even when I was at Aveda, I, I did like cut like white wear, but I've never had a black man sit in my chair and me cut his hair. So it was very interesting that the last time I cut a black man's hair was in 2015 and it's 2024, which is, I cannot believe that this was 10 years ago. I just literally can't believe this is 10 years ago, but I did a good job for it, it being my first time back on the Clippers. So, Brandon said he was going to come back every Monday so I could perfect my craft, which is like super exciting. And yeah, I love him down with it. Oh my God. So, yeah, I think I did a really good job. What y'all think? What y'all think? But yeah, this morning, I'm just literally, this morning, <laughs> I'm saying this morning because it's about to be fat clock and be loopy. But this morning, I'm just going to be um, finishing up these wigs. I have three more wigs to do. And then, um, also, like, whenever something comes into my mind, I have to go to my computer and, like, do some research on it and, like, put things in a cart because I'm, like, thinking of, basically, I'm just thinking of, like, how I want the rest of the place to look. I haven't showed you guys the like full essence of the beauty room yet, which I will tomorrow or not tomorrow, today, like later on today, once I clean it up because it's a mess right now. I got like this big black table in the middle of the room working, but um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out like how I want the rest of the place to look aesthetic wise. I'm thinking of getting rid of that sofa and going back to my roots, y'all. I love dark aesthetic, like this light cream aesthetic is like cool, and I it's cute, it's cool. But it's just like not naturally my vibe. Like I like dark stuff, but this works for sure. I like the hair studio. Uh, I think it's cute. I think my clients are gonna love it. Um, but in regards to like the living space, I kind of want to get rid of the cream sofa and kind of go dark. Especially being that I don't live by myself anymore. You know, I want the place to look more unisex. So I've been uh, looking at like new sofas and stuff. And then even in the bedroom, we did paint um, some of the walls in the bedroom. Y'all, I cannot wait to show y'all what we did in the bedroom. It's so cute. But yeah, we have to get, like I said, a new dresser, um, a little workstation area, desk area, library. We're working on a lot of stuff. And then we also have to find a dining room table. So yeah, I'm just like really excited about like furnishing this apartment because we're going to be here for like the next two years for sure. Um, maximum. And then, yeah, I say about two years when I'm here. So, yeah, that's super exciting. Oh, I also got some exciting news. Your Kindred <laughs> is going on a trip next weekend. Um, me and the girls for um, one of my friend's birthday. So we're going to be having a good old time next weekend. That's super exciting. I'm going to do a whole separate video on how I prep for that trip. Because, chill. I went through the bringer trying to get all my ducks in a row. But it's true. But... Yeah, I just wanted to tap, tap, tap me in with y'all or whatnot. Cause I feel like I ain't vlog in like the past couple of days. This looks so good, y'all. She's so cute. She's so soft and flowy. This is a five by five HD closure, 14 inches um, of raw hair. She's so cute. I'm just waiting for the curls to like finish cooling down and then I'm going to comb her out and put her on a mannequin head and get some videos and some pictures and bam! But yeah, she's going to be so cute.
So this is how the hair studio turned out thus far. We did such a, a good job putting this room together from the floors to the DIY line wash. Turned out so good. So this area right here is just storage. And then this is where I am displaying sample bundles. And then I got this rack from Amazon, these hooks also from Amazon. In this picture, I had found at a home goods here in Atlanta. It was originally in my bedroom, but it has no use in my bedroom now. So this is like perfect right here until I get a sign. I'm gonna get a custom sign that says NLSAW Studio. This uh, statue I also got from a home goods something gallery. Z gallery? Yeah, Z gallery. But it broke. You can't even tell that it broke. I just stuffed these pumpus. Um, plants in there and then this stand right here was um, gifted to me from Angui when she was moving and check this out so the base was originally like a marble white base but I painted over it and created this like beautiful texture I did such a good job with all this hair I gotta clean this hair up I'm joking but yeah this turned out so good I didn't even use any dry decks with this this is simply paint and I just created some texture, spots of color. I did such a good job. It looks so good. It matches the aesthetic perfectly. And then this base right here I got from Target. And then these pompous trees to fill it out. And then this turned out so good from earlier. I did the DIY dry decks on these white shelves. So we have the display wig and then we have our cups, beverages. I went for more of a healthy vibe for my clients. So I got the probiotic sodas. I got natural spring water, um, probiotic mixed berries and strawberry covered yogurt. And then I got plant-based um, protein bars as well. I ate all of this. And then plant-based um, chocolate chip cookies, some kettle chips plant-based beef um, sticks and all natural fruit snacks. That's it, fruit snacks. And then for my sweet tooth girlies, I got some smart sweets, three grams of sugar. Someone already took the redfish, but I actually have some more in the closet. I can pull it out. And then my good old Laffy Taffy. I love me some Laffy Taffy. I didn't even notice that I need to take that off. Then yeah, this mirror I already had in my previous apartment. I got it from CB2, this chair I got from Minerva. This right here was gifted to me from my mom. She got this from CB2 or Z Gallery, I can't remember. But the top, once again, was like a marble top and it cracked. I used to keep these books on top of them, but I decided to use this as like a stand for my clients and their beverages. And then this right here was gifted to me when I first moved into my apartment. It was originally white and it had the dates on there and then the months, so the months and the dates. So I just went ahead and I did the same thing. I painted it, did my own little DIY project on it, created some texture, and now I just have to write in the months and the date. So that's gonna be super cute. I like to hold on to stuff. The, the original one didn't match, it was white and black. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do my own little DIY and keep it. And yeah, this turned out super cute. Let's get into the scent in the room. As soon as you walk in, you smell this little old powerful diffuser that I got from Dozier. And it smells so good. It's like a mix of honeysuckle, vanilla, a little bit of musk, and like a strong scent of like marshmallow. So good, it smells so good. I just opened it um, last week and it's already here which I'm a little sad, so I know this is probably gonna be gone within the month, a little over a month, but it's okay, I'll just get some more. And same with this, I already had this, I got this from Minerva, but I had, um, it was damaged. I had like set a hot tool up here and it burned, and then it also created like a crack in here, so I just went ahead and I painted it myself to go with the vibe and I created some more texture, I just love, creating texture with paint like this is so cute it's just the little details that just makes a difference you know super cute so yeah this is where I keep all of my hot tools which leads me to down here where I just 
ordered um, a re-up of hot tools so i gotta go through this stuff and put all this stuff away clips and stuff i ordered new clips i want to go with all black you know um hair tools so yeah and now let's get into this picture right here this is the same exact picture that my mom um had back in the day so she was a hairstylist a home-based hairstylist as well um she was like she was the go-to girl for micros and box sprays and um all of that good stuff and she did sew ends as well but this is the picture that she used and i just literally reframed it from with this frame that i got from amazon to go with the gold brass mirror from cb2 and yeah this picture means a lot to me so this picture is going to come with me everywhere even when i move into my next studio this picture is coming with me yeah so cute <laughs> 